Well, I'm, I'm Christophs from Unlimited Potential. Um, our project is called Dadly Does It. Um, and really what we're trying to do is to see whether or not um, helping fathers improve their own well-being improves the well-being of their kids. Well, hi everyone. Um, my name's John. Uh, I'm a worker on the project. But I'm just going to set this up for a minute because um, I'm also speaking as a dad. Um, how this works, uh, I work with a bunch of fathers from the area that, that I'm from. And I was struggling quite a lot through most of my teenage years and in some, some, some into my adult years. And a bunch of dads got together um, with, with, with the children, um, which I started improving my life. I was out of work for 13 years. And when I got involved with it, working with the fathers and the children, um, I found employment um, and something that's, that means a lot to me, really. This is the launch of, of our work in Winton. So we've, we've run a competition um, called Men Behaving Dadly. And the idea was to ask children of all ages to say why their dad is a great dad. Or if, if they've got somebody who's acting as, as their father figure, why they're acting as a great dad. And we've heard um, today from children as young as three all the way up through the age range about the different qualities that, f that fathers are offering. From Jack. And it says, my dad is the best because he takes me fishing and we catch fish. <laughs> He's the best dad in the world. That's it. <laughs> he plays kung fu with me. Because he gives me kisses and cuddles. Uh, great satisfaction is, is just seeing the children happy. Um, I've got two children, Sophie and Blake Smith. And uh, Blake's now 13 and I'm quite happy you know, with the fact that you know, they do so well. And I'm just quite happy just being a dad, <laughs> really. <laughs> it's just a sheer presence, and she's lovely. And uh, I wouldn't be be without her. Just to see, just to see her flourish, basically. Just to see her day by day getting older and wiser and prettier and funnier. And yeah, ever since she was born, just every day is a <laughs> great day. It's to just be with the children as much as possible. Obviously, you know, a lot of dads have to work quite a lot, a lot more than maybe mums and stuff like that, but, you know, trying to be there for your children as much as possible. And obviously, especially when they're home from school, try and obviously do, you know, homework with them and basically just be with them as much as you can, you know, throughout the time. Top tip as a dad, I'd say get involved and just have some fun. And I think while they're in the early stages, that's, that's all they ask for, really. And then as they grow up and just try and mentor them in the way that, you know, you, in your own image almost, you know. I think the best way to bond with your child is to obviously, you know, do activities with them, you know, do the homework with them with, and do, you know, basically take them anywhere you can, you know, take them to the park and just do lots of stuff with them. Because I find that the bond with my, with Sophie is, is just so good is that, you know, it's a lot better than I would have expected because <laughs> I wasn't with my dad very much as a child, but I, I love, love to be, you know, around my children as much as possible. I think just sharing love and happiness and trying to show the right way to go. If he goes to karate with me and he helps with my math skills. Um, Really just to get actively involved in everything that she's interested in, um, what, know what her, her friend circles are and get involved with homework and just find out what she likes and do, do as much as you can really and in every, every aspect of her, of her life really, just get involved and uh, there's nothing better, nothing better. This is from Sienna. Sienna's daddy drives her to Bali. You can see here pictures of Sienna's feet and daddy's big feet tell us. <laughs> we, we need fathers uh, really to um, come forward. Uh, we need the, all, 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 types of, all types of fathers. Uh, some, some fathers who are struggling, the, the, the hard, harder ones to reach, um, and they could be going through, through uh, any, any like mental, health, men, mental illness, uh, unemployment, any kind of drug or alcohol issues, uh, being estranged from the children. Um, but also um, the dads who aren't confident um, and a bit like myself through my own journey um, with um, panic and anxiety in, in the past. And our starting point is that for children, mums and dads are equally important. They just have, sometimes have different roles. Um, and Dadly Does It is about testing 
whether or not helping dads um, to um, develop and improve their well-being and their health also leads to the improvement in the health and well-being of their children. Because um, we're not a service and people are used to getting delivered service things um, and we're using the fathers as, um, as assets because each and every single one of them have uh, strengths and we're using the strengths rather than the weaknesses. We get these fathers together uh, to celebrate fatherhood really uh, in various ways. Uh, it could be football, it could be a club, it could be working with ward um, and anything but it's got to be defined by the fathers themselves. This is from Cody and it says my granddad is the best because he does everything for me and my siblings. If I had to choose a granddad out of a grabber box, I'd choose him. My granddad, is, my granddad is one in a million, and I could not wish for a better one.